I could understand how you'd be curious. I mean, you walk in, you go, what is it? What is this place? Walking to a church of Scientology is very much a new kind of experience. It's not like a, a church that I was used to walking into, you know, it's very modern looking, you know, very, very clean, you know, it was a very friendly atmosphere. People come in every day, all the time. Just walking in. Hey, what is this? What is this place? I'd like to know. One of the things that you definitely see is a lot of displays. We have panels, there's video displays that are just designed just to answer questions. It answers every question that they could possibly have about what is Scientology. They can just literally push the button, watch that two minute display, and know exactly what that concept is. You know, you can come, spend 10 minutes, spend two hours, grab a coffee. Just kind of come as you are, check it out, walk through. Scientologists have a church because it's a place where we can go to study, to have Sunday service. We do the same types of things. We have our Sunday services, we do marriages, we have naming ceremonies. We have all kinds of services that we do as a group. But one thing that's particular about Scientology is that there's also a personal aspect to it. You can kind of choose, like, okay, what do I need help with in my life? The first thing probably most everyone does is a course. That's actually the theology of Scientology. That's where you're learning about the actual philosophy itself. And it is a religious philosophy, but it's also an applied religious philosophy, so you go apply it. Kind of like a spiritual college. They have tons of courses on yeah, everything. pretty much any subject yeah. you can really think of. There are courses on how to communicate better. How to get along with others. How to handle negative people. How to raise children. It's not just a philosophy where you sit and think about it. It's taking the spiritual nature of man and it's combining it with something that's really practical. It has a way of being very, very simple and easy to come across to the reader and easy to apply, but also extremely powerful. You come in, you pick a chair you like, you sit down, you study there. It's really quite simple. You feel good when you're studying there. You don't need to be a Scientologist and you can be any religion really to come check it out. The whole point is you're yourself. In a church of Scientology, you're the one doing the learning. Nobody's preaching to you or teaching it to you. You're learning it yourself. Well, here at the church, we deliver courses. We deliver personal counseling called auditing, and we deliver the purification rundown. The purification rundown actually opens the way to spiritual progress. It's an all-natural regimen which frees one from the harmful effects of drugs and toxins. Old drugs that you took, pesticides, you sweat all those things out of your system and you feel so much more alive. It's revitalizing. The simplicity and the power of it is immeasurable. There's also something called auditing, which is Scientology counseling. And that is extremely unique. That is where you actually get rid of the unwanted emotions and unwanted habits, psychosomatic illnesses. There's no hypnosis involved in it. There's no analyzation. No one tells you what's wrong with you. It finds the root, it finds the cause of what's going on, and it handles that spiritually for you. You are given back yourself. You start to recognize really who you are. And that's really spiritual enlightenment. What they use in auditing is an instrument called an e-meter, which really helps a person to locate areas of pain and trauma that you may not be totally aware of. Anybody can walk into a church of Scientology and just right off reception get a demonstration of the e-meter for themselves. I mean, literally, the person can walk up and see for themselves how that actually works. The tools in Scientology are used for you to help you with the areas of your life that you're having trouble with. It's a personal experience for an individual. And it's not lumping everyone into the same ball of wax because we all know it, we're all different. Any person that walks into my course room is a totally new person with their own story, with their own life. And as you take that journey, you become more and more you. You become more and more an individual. After all, that's what we have to offer the world is our own unique view. There's churches in Paris, in London, in New York, Moscow, Germany, all over Europe, in Madrid, in Africa. The best way to find out about something is really to look for yourself. It's as simple as opening the door. You're always welcome.